What is good, YouTube? It is your boy Q Souls, and I'm back with another video for you guys. Make sure if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and ding the bell to get notified for when I have videos dropping consistently. Like I said in my last video, I was going over my analytics. 92% of people this month are watching my videos that aren't subscribed. So if you really want to help me out, if you really do enjoy these videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and drop a like on this video early. It helps me out a lot, pushes me to the recommended section for other viewers. And it just helps this channel grow. I would very much appreciate it. Now for today's video, I do not have a pair of shoes. But this is going to be my first release, upcoming release type sneaker video. So I'm going to do the top upcoming sneakers of December 2020. This month is going to be insane. I heard people like Seth Fowler and Bullet RC say that December might be the best month of sneaker releases this year. I don't know. Me personally, I'm not really looking to cop anything in the month of December, but that's not for me. It's for the sneaker market. Um, it is a pretty stacked month. We do have shoes that are set to release this month, but don't have a release date. So starting off my list, I'm going to go with this honorable mentions of the Kobe 6 Grinches and the Bread Yeezy 350s. Both of these are set to release in December, but do not have an official release date nor an official retail price. Now, if these drop this month, it's definitely going to be some problems with both of those. I can promise you that. I know Yeezys are kind of dying off now, but those bread Yeezys are always, always the most popular ones. And I think those, as well as the Grinch Yeezys, I mean Grinch Kobe's, are definitely going to sell out. Let's start off number one with the Nike Dunk High Women's Exclusive in that court purple. This shoe here just goes along with all the dunk craze that's been going on in 2020. This is a dunk high in women's sizing. It is releasing December 3rd for a retail price of $120. I think these are fire. Personally, I would not go grab them because they are in women's sizing. And when I tend to get a women's shoe, they just fit big for some reason. I wear 8.5 in women, which is translate to a size 7. But it just fit big for me, so I would not be going after them. But I do think the resale value are going to be in the 300. So if you can get your hands on these, trust me, get them. Even if you don't want to wear them, you can easily flip them for a profit. Next on my list are the Air Jordan 8 Burgundy, also a woman's exclusive. These are fire. I love when Jordan Brand puts Burgundy or Bordeaux in any of the shoes. We just had a PSG 4 that was in the Bordeaux colorway that instantly sold out everywhere. So I think the same thing is going to happen with this shoe, regardless if it's in women's size or not. This shoe releases December 4th for a retail price of $190. I personally think these are flame. My only knock is the women's sizing, so that is why I would not go for a personal pair. But if I can get my hands on a pair to flip, I'm definitely going to do that because I think the resale value will be up in the 250 to 90 range. Nothing crazy, but any profit is definitely good profit. Next on my list is also a Jordan sneaker that does not get enough love, and that is the Air Jordan 9 in the black University Blue colorway. Now, for everybody that tunes into my channel regularly, y'all know I'm the biggest UNC fan, period. So whenever I hear University Blue, I'm automatically drawn into the shoe. The only problem is I hate Jordan 9s. I do think they don't get enough love, but I also hate Jordan 9s personally because they look like a winter boot. And even though I wear a GS size, every time I had a Jordan 9, they look like a men's size 9. So I'm definitely not copping these, but the colorway is dope. I do think a lot, a lot of people are going to sleep on this shoe. And if you can get two or three pairs, I'm pretty sure you will be able to definitely try to flip these if you do not like the Jordan 9. The release date will be December 5th for a retail price of $190. Next on my list is the Nike Christmas Sweater Pack. Right off the bat, these suck. I'm not going to lie to you. Now, I know there is a lot of Christmas fans out there. This is just my personal opinion. If you are really into Christmas, these are fire to you. I already know that. The Blazers are retailing for $110. The Nike Air Force Ones are retailing for $120. And to round the pack off, the Air Max 90s are retailing for $130. These are releasing December 7th, by the way. These just aren't my flavor because I'm not really a big shoe 
person when it comes to wearing them only once a year. I feel like you can only wear this Christmas sweater pack around Christmas time. Other than that, it's just going to be collecting dust in your closet. So that's one of the reasons why I don't think this pack is very good. But I do personally like the Air Max 90 out of all three of them. The Blazers, just not my thing. The Air Force One Highs, I don't wear Air Force One Highs. And I don't like the color scheme or the color blocking that they did with this. Putting the sweater patterns within the out, I don't know. You see the picture on the screen. It's just not my flavor personally. But if you love Christmas, if you love wearing shoes, you know, one time a year, definitely go for this. I do not think these will sell out, so it should be an easy cop. Next up is a sneaker that's probably the hypest one in December, and that is the J Balvin Air Jordan 1s. These released December 8th. They're already loaded on the sneakers app for a retail price of $190. I think they come in sizes from 3 to what 13 or 3 to 14, something like that. But this is probably going to be the most hype shoe in December. Retail, not retail, resale prices on StockX and stuff are already in the thousands. I do not know how limited this shoe is going to be, but I know for a fact it's going to be bot heavy on release day. I believe they're only releasing on sneakers in America, so you're definitely going to have your hands full if you're trying to cop this shoe. But if you do, I don't know about rocking it. Like, I'm going to try to go for it on the sneakers app because that's just what I do. I try to go for everything, to be honest. But I'm not going to wear this shoe if I do hit. It's going to be an easy flip. I know resale value is going to drop down from the uh, thousands, but it's definitely going to be a lot over 190 So if I get this shoe, just an easy flip for me. I do like it, but I don't like it enough to put on my feet. Next up, we have another super hype shoe, and that is the Nike Dunk High Wu-Tang. These are releasing December 9th for a retail price of 190 now, if you have been in a sneaker community or have done your research, you know for a fact that the Wu-Tang Dunks, the one that has the sign on the side panel of the shoe, or the symbol on the side panel of the shoe, those are absolute heat. People went crazy for those, resale price was crazy and all that good stuff. So the fact that Nike brand is bringing that back, obviously without the Wu-Tang branding, every single OG sneakerhead are going for the, I can promise you that. They already loaded up on sneakers, I believe. Last time I checked, I believe they loaded up on sneakers. This is definitely going to be a bot-heavy release, and just good luck. I love this shoe personally. If I can get a pair in my personal size, I'm definitely going to try to. But everybody out there, I'm telling you, good luck, because this is going to be crazy. Next up on the list, you already know Jordan Brand releases an Air Jordan 11 every December. And this year, celebrating the 25th anniversary of Jordan Brand, we have the Jubilee Air Jordan 11s. They were released December 12th for a retail price of $220. That there alone, the retail price alone, I'm not copying these. I'm not even going for them. I'm not paying $220. Well, in my size, it would be like $180. I'm not paying for that. I never had paid $180 for a retail shoe. I'm not doing that. And I don't like the shoe that much. I don't like that they put Jordan along the eyelids. I just don't like the colorway either. It reminds me a lot of the Space Jams, the 7210s. I don't know. Like I just feel like they didn't put any effort. It's gonna. It's the 25th anniversary. I feel like they should have put some type of effort in making this a rememberable colorway but it's literally just a black shoe with that milky bottom from the 7210s and a silver Jordan man. I know a lot of people like them. If you are into Air Jordan 12s or this is going to be your first Air Jordan 12 in your collection, definitely cop them because it is a good pair. But personally, there's just so many other Jordan 12s that complement this one or looks just like this one that I think are better. Also releasing on December 12th for a retail price of 180 are the Sakai Vapor Waffles in that Tour Yellow and also in a red and Neptune green colorway. These are absolutely flame to me. I love what Sakai and Nike has done in the past with their first Vapor Waffles, the Blazers, and now these shoes. These are very dope. They did release two other colorways earlier in the year. The red, blue, and white slash sale colorway also a very basic black and white colorway i think both of those were dope i really do like the style of the shoe it might not be much like a pleasing to other people because of the back of the shoe and how bulky it looks i just think it's dope personally it's something different something that we don't see every day 
definitely if you wear these out on the street, it's gonna be a shoe that somebody compliments you on. It's gonna be something that stands out. So that's why I personally like them. And if I was to get this pair, they would definitely be for the feet and not to flip at all. I have no information on where they will be releasing. I assume only Nike sneakers app and maybe some retail stores that I don't live by. But yeah, very dope shoe. I'm definitely gonna be trying to get after these. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 13 in that black Hyper Royal colorway. I'm gonna tell you, me personally, Q Souls hates this shoe because I do not like that blue and black. I feel like Jordan brand always brings us a dope blue and white colorway and it automatically tries to flip it or reverse it to a blue and black colorway and I just don't like when they do that. They did that with the uh, Motorsport 4s, those blue ones, that blue and white, those are very fire. But then they tried to do like an alternate Motorsport with the black and blue ones, those are terrible to me personally. I don't like how blue and black sits with each other and this shoe is no different. They got that white and Hyper Royal 13s, those are extremely fire to me. But the fact that they just tried to put all the, they changed the white from black, like, don't do that. I don't like that. Me personally, this shoe is releasing December 19th for a retail price of $190. I mean, if it's your flavor, definitely go get it. You know every Jordan sneaker this year is going to sell out. So you're going to have some issues, but I don't think it's going to be too crazy with this release. And going right along with what Jordan brand does with the reverse crap, the Air Jordan 12 reverse flu games are absolutely terrible in my opinion. I hate this shoe. I think these released December 26 for a retail price of $190. These are terrible. The flu games, the legendary, the iconic Jordan 12 sneaker are fire. They're red on the bottom with black upper, but to reverse it and then put the red at the suede instead of the smooth, like what? I don't need that. I just feel like Jordan Brand is just releasing shoes because they're bored at some point. Like these are not it at all. I think it kind of disrespects the regular flu games to be honest like those didn't need to be reversed and didn't need to have some suede upper or some crap i don't like them personally but to each his own i'm not judging nobody else if you like them go for them release december 26 retail price 190 they're going to sell out because all jordan shoes this year sell out so you're going to have your hands full and last but not least on this list we have the Air Jordan 11 Adapts. These release at the very end of December, December 30th, for a retail price of $500. Now what that tells me already, try and cop this shoe. I know a lot of people don't have $500, but I'm telling you, cop this shoe if you can. It is gonna release on Sneakers app. It's gonna be very bot heavy. So if you know somebody with bots, try to get, you know, try to get into their service. You need this shoe. Because I'm telling you, the resale bike on these shoes are going to be double that when they first release. I know some of the other Adapt shoes, the basketball shoes that they did, the self-lacing and all that good stuff did not resell for that much. But those were basketball shoes. Everybody does not play basketball. But everybody loves Jordans, especially this year. Every Jordan sneaker has sold out. So that having a Jordan 11 with the self-lacing technology the thing that you can tie from your phone, self-fasten from your phone, I promise you everybody is going to try to see what this shoe is about. Everybody's going to try to get their hands on it. So if you can cop a pair and you do not like them, it will be an easy flip for you. I can guarantee it. And that's going to round off my list for the top upcoming sneakers of December 2020. Let me know down in the comment section, A, if I missed any sneakers that you're going after, or B, which sneakers on this list are you trying to go cop? And lastly, before I go, you already know I have to end off with a quote. And today's quote is short and simple, worry less, smile more. And what that means in this life, we all go through trials and tribulations. We all go through things that we feel like are just a burden on us or a weight on our shoulders. But definitely remember all the things in your life to smile about. Remember all the little things. Everything in life isn't peaches and cream. But the fact if you keep putting more positivity into the world, keep smiling and keep pushing every day, good things will happen to you. And with that being said, you know the quote, you know the motto. Aim high, spread love. I'm out.